401ks are one of the most popular ways to save for retirement, especially if the company you're working for matches any portion of your contribution. That's free money. And who doesn't like free money? However, with investing in a 401k, there are certain areas that some people aren't aware of that could be hindering their investment performance. The first is just investing into a target date mutual fund. Target date mutual funds decrease the risk as you get closer and closer to retirement. However, typically target date mutual funds have very high fees compared to the other choices inside your 401k. And they're just going to reduce the amount of risk that you're taking regardless of what's happening in the investment world. So for example, in 2022, interest rates rose at an unprecedented rate, meaning if you're in a target date mutual fund and you're shifting out of stocks into bonds, that's going to be bad for the bonds because once interest rates rise, not only did the stocks go down, but bonds also went down in value. And with the investment such as well-established companies going down in value, that is a potential buying opportunity rather than putting money into the bond market, where if you compare stocks to bonds over the long run, historically speaking, stocks are a more stable and a more appreciative asset to own over the long haul to help give you the compounding interest that you're searching for when it comes to your investments. Not only do people need to be aware of target date mutual funds, but having too many mutual funds inside your 401k could be detrimental to your wealth because mutual funds have lots and lots of positions inside them. And if you have three, four, five different mutual funds, you could be what's called over diversified, meaning you have too many positions inside your investment account and you're not optimizing the way your investments could be working for you rather than against you. Just like anything, too much diversification could possibly be a bad thing. And you wanna make sure that you're not taking so much risk where you're uncomfortable with the swings of your account going up and down. At the same time, you don't wanna be so diversified that you're not gonna see the appreciation on the upside either. Not only do people over diversify their accounts, however, when it comes to taking risk, there are typically placeholders inside your 401k to take advantage of. So for example, let's say the stock market's at a lifetime high and you're not sure what's going to happen. There's typically what's called a stable value fund inside every person's 401k where you can put money into. It's basically like investing into CDs or treasuries from the US government. It is as riskless as you can get inside a 401k. So let's just say you're 100% invested in the stock market and you're like, hey, I want to take 10% off the table. You can then shift money into a stable value fund or into something else that is maybe undervalued. And then what you could do is through payroll deduction every two weeks or however much often you're paid, you can dollar cost average back into the mutual fund that is maybe a little riskier or you can start to increase the size of a less risky asset to help bring your portfolio into balance. Because ultimately inside a 401k, there could be what's called portfolio drift, meaning you could drift too conservative or too aggressive. That's why it's always good to either look at it at yourself or to hire someone to possibly look at, at it for you to help guide you on your investment journey. Another thing I would avoid inside your 401k is paying any sort of management fees to have it managed for you because ultimately it's just going to be like a robo advisor and there's not a whole lot of value there. You really want to have someone who knows what they're doing look at everything to make sure you're in the best places possible rather than just trusting some online software to make the best decision for you. And that decision it's making for you is making for every single person that's inside that portfolio. So we want to make sure that you are customizing your investment portfolio to the best of your abilities rather than doing cookie cutter investment strategies where you're going to do just as well as everyone else without giving you the proper protection on the downside and being able to see the appreciation that you need in order to achieve all your investment goals and, and objectives on the upside.